We are spread like butter, and I am a Pocky. Whoop. And now oh, I am a Harley. <laughs> Harley time! <sighs> all right. Uh, pros and no's, video games in need of movies. So as we all know, movies have a tendency to make bad games, or games make bad movies. And either way, that statement is true. But right now, we're going to talk about what we think movies that games deserve their own movies, and how they could potentially not be crap. <laughs> Uh, so, this one is going to be, what, there's, there's, what is in the background? What's the next This one? is completely different than what we're going to talk about, but it's all there right. There we go! So we're starting with, with awesome. Jeffries. So, uh, Harley started. picked these out, and this is, um, happy because I did play these games, Bioshock and Borderlands. Um, right. so, I believe, I think Bioshock should be a movie. It should be created, and I think J.J. Abrams would be really great if he's the one who directed this. It is just, you know, Second City, you wake up and you get these like powers and all this other crazy bullsh crap. <laughs> that was a close one. Bull crap basically happens around and I think it's a really great storyline, a really great story arc, and I think the fans that play the games and such would definitely work into it. I mean, what do you think? Well, I, I think it could potentially be good. I don't know how I feel about Lens Flare being a power of the atom if we involve a JJ Abrams. Although I did love Star Wars, but I'm just saying he is known for his lens flares, and he does love them. Um, I, I I could agree with you if it's done well. It doesn't have to be the Second City, by the way, as we know with Bioshock Infinite. It could be a floating city. It could so be you're a floating right. city. Be, you just take the ideas of certain parts of Bioshock. I disagree, though, because the thing about Bioshock is it's about a moral message. At the end of the day, moviegoers really sometimes don't like those because it either gets too political or blah, blah, blah. And most science people will then hate the movie because, oh, this movie had a message and I hate it. Because it will. I hate you. I know. What's your other movie? <laughs> the other movie we got is Borderlands. Borderlands. It's the apocalypse. It's way set out in the future. So it's a bit of a sci-fi fan. Uh, sci-fi built into this. And, I mean, just the overall story arc of Borderlands itself. Uh, Two Face Jack. I mean, it's just. I, Handsome Jack. Handsome Jack. Handsome Jack. I'm thinking of something completely different. This is what happens when to, Harley picks the movies. Thinking. Love you, Harley. Um, but yeah, no, I think Borderlands is a really great one. There's a huge fan base behind it. I think this will actually over, uh, Trump, the, uh, over arc, the Bioshock and everything else like that. I'm losing the one I'm talking about because honestly, I was not prepared for this. Thanks, Harley. Love you. What do you, so I, I think, think it should, I think it should be a movie. I think I it think should you, be a movie. It should be a movie. The problem <laughs> is, the problem is it's, either, it's, it, again, the, the story of the game, it was told through a very specific set of eyes. I don't see how a real ensemble four-party cast or even making it one person. And in the end of the day, I don't... This franchise relies on a lot of, of insanity and in-jokes and whatnot. And okay. your movie is like, it's either going to come off way too silly or way too dark and way too gritty, missing the point of by the Bioshock. They're either going to take it way too silly or way too serious. Sam, I'm, seeing, I'm, the... I'm seeing Bioshock more like almost kind sorry, of similar sorry, Borderlands to... Is... Bioshock, more similarity to Silent Hill. Uh, I see Borderlands almost kind of like a spinoff of Firefly. That's true, but then it would be missing the point of Borderlands, which is kind of... In Borderlands, the bad guys are the are really... The good guys are bad guys, in a way. They are not the... Uh, the hockey. No, no, no. Seriously. In Borderlands, your good guys are not the nicest people in the universe. But they're the people who get the job done. And, uh, and Hollywood <laughs> just makes everyone's assholes. <laughs> Prime television, everyone! Let's go to your movie, sir. So, I don't know. <laughs> Two episodes left for the season, folks. Two episodes, Two episodes. left for We're the good. season. We're good. So, Mega Man! <laughs> Mega Man! The Blue Bomber! You can't tell me you would make a great movie. We get Illumination Studios, <laughs> the guys Sorry. who make... Just keep going. We get Illumination Studios, we get the guys who make Minions and Despicable Me... And some of those really great movies like Rio, and we get them to do the animation of Mega Man. We can have this great trilogy of movies involving Mega Man versus Dr. Wily. I and say, the Proto -Man. I'm gonna say no. I'm gonna say Why? no because I like I, I think we need more originality into our our uh, basically our movie adapt right now. Every all everyone that's going on is like you're having all these remakes of this, this, and this, and this, and this. 
And no, I don't. I mean, Mega Man is a great game. It was a fun game back in the 90s and early 80s or whenever it came out. But honestly, I think it should not become a movie whatsoever. You know, I, I can. <laughs> Sorry. Huh. We're going to quickly move on to Oblivion. And you can't Oblivion. tell me. Oblivion. Oblivion. You're just, okay. See, this is why, why Mega Man can't be a movie because you're blocking him. Right. You're, well, you're you know, blocking you know, Mega Man. I was blocking he was him. correct. He just said, I'm right. So we're not going to make Mega so Man. Look, a movie. look, I can actually make Mega Man. No, no. But look, uh, Oblivion. Oblivion. Uh, Oblivion. So, why Oblivion would be awesome. Think about it. High fantasy world where the devil himself is trying to break into it. Destroy it, and the heroes have to go after and stop it. That would be awesome as a movie. You don't even have to. Are we going to do it like playing by the game? Like no, because then you'd have to spend like you know five hours alone just on the tutorial and like leveling up to level five. No, you get like you know what you get like the guys who do um, Prime Evil <laughs> or some of those great games from from <laughs> Graves, great movies from like BBC to get involved because they've done some great stuff with medieval like Merlin. Yes, I'm just going to stop you right there. I think Oblivion should not be made into a movie. Mm -hmm. There's way too much content. I'm very impressed that they did it with Warcraft, which was really excellent. But honestly, I mean, think about it. Oblivion, you can... Uh, just Elder Scrolls in general, you can spend hundreds of hours going every direction. How do you make a story of, of, based off of that? Like, oh, just, seriously. Just skip the side question. The movie, just the oh, story. You just... You know what? We're going to stop right now because things have just devolved into silliness. But we said we're going to watch <laughs> hey, this you said guy. The word. <laughs> you guys get to watch this guy be silly and creepy and weird with Alice and this week's Geek Week News. Puritans, people. Puritans. Puritans. Geek Week News. Huge shift in a fight. Like there was like some coming over from one hill and some coming from the other hill, and there's going to be a battle in the middle with swords and, and tentacle monsters. It was going to be horrible. <laughs>